video we are going to talk about three kinds of work that is positive, negative and zero work. So let us first discuss about the positive work. What is it? Now whenever we see that the force and the displacement are in the same direction, in that case we call the work done to be positive because it has a positive sign. For example, this is the case that we have looked at in the previous video. Here we have applied a force on this wooden block which is placed on this table and because of this force it has been displaced by a displacement S. Now here we see that the force and the displacement both are in the forward direction. Now here since these two are in the same direction the work done was found to be W equals F S f into s now here we see that this is positive in nature it's not negative so here in this case the work done is said to be positive since the force and the displacement made by the body because of the force are in the same direction let's take another example let's say a man is pushing a trolley in the forward direction now here the force applied by the man is in the forward direction on the trolley and the displacement of the trolley that is the trolley also moves in the forward direction so the displacement is also in the forward direction so we say that the work done in this case is positive since the, both the force and the displacement are in the same direction so here since they are in the same direction the angle between them is zero degree and this and thus it is called as positive work the work done is said to be positive when the body is displaced in the direction of the force so w equals fs this is the formula for the positive work now let's take the same example now whenever a body moves in a certain direction or a force is being applied for the body to move in a certain direction the frictional force operates in the opposite direction of motion of the body. We know that already. Now here, the motion of the body is along the forward direction as we have seen before. And that's why the, motion, the uh, force, that is the frictional force, operates or acts in the opposite direction of motion of the body. So here, the frictional force is in the backward direction. So, since it is in backward direction, it is opposite to the direction of the displacement of the trolley, which is in the forward direction. Now here in this case, what we see is frictional force and the displacement of the trolley are in the exactly opposite direction to each other. Now let's see what's the angle between them. Now when we place these two vectors side by side, we see that the angle between the frictional force and the displacement is 180 degree. So, we see that here, since these two are in the opposite directions to each other, such a work done, or we say that the work done by the frictional force in this case is negative. That is, the work done is said to be negative when the body is displaced in the opposite direction of the applied force or any kind of force. In that case, we call it a negative work. So here W will be equal to minus F into S. Since force is in the backward direction or opposite to the displacement, we take it as negative and that results in a negative work done. In this case here. So this is what we call as negative work done. Now let us look at another situation. Here, what is the work done due to the gravitational force on the luggage? Let us try to find out. Now first of all, let us look at the directions of different forces over here. Now here the gravitational force as suggested by the question is in the downward direction, which is towards the surface of the earth. But this luggage was moved by the man in the forward direction which is in the uh, this direction so here we clearly see that the angle made by the gravitational force and the displacement is 90 degree 
Now we know by the third condition of word done that whenever there is an angle of 90 degree between the force and the displacement, no work is done. Now even though uh, the man is carrying the luggage and moving forward with a lot of effort, the work done by the gravitational force here in this case is zero since the gravitational force is in the downward direction and the displacement of the body is in the forward direction. So here the work done is set to be zero when the body is displaced perpendicular to the force. The work done is also zero when uh, there is no force acting on a body or there is no displacement of the body. So in those cases there is zero work. So this was all about three kinds of work that is positive, negative and zero work. And I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.